Hi, my name is Solomon King and welcome to Promptly Speaking, your daily AI guide packed with tips, tricks, and the freshest updates in the world of artificial intelligence. So let's get started. Today's prompt has an inspiration from Mr. Allen T on Twitter, at Mr. Allen T. Thank you so much for this brilliant, brilliant um, prompt idea. He says, I've been using Midjourney to workshop website and social media banner designs lately, and the results are quite amazing. And he's basically creating banner designs. So today's prompt is going to be website banner design. And let's get started. So first we'll go to Meet Journey and say, imagine website banner design. And the trick here is to use an aspect ratio of three to one, right? So let's say um, a family of puppies website banner design. Let's do it in 8K and do white angle. Let's see what that looks like. Then we will also say imagine Paradise Island. I got this Paradise Island is inspiration from something that he shared. Paradise Island, Vector, Vacation, and Travel. And then say Website Banner Design, 8K. So the vector here basically allows for this to be an illustration, right? So we do 8K, um, Wide Angle, Aspect ratio, again, aspect ratio of three to one, and then it will do the rest. In the meantime, check this out. This is our family of puppies. My internet is being slow today. This is my family of little puppies, doesn't it? Doesn't that just look adorable? So let's try an upscale number two and number three and see what that looks like. Upscale number two and number three. In the meantime, our Paradise banner is loading. Let's see. Ah, uh, look at this. This is actually a really nice wide angle. And doesn't that look, well, except for the snuggle tooth uh, puppy here, but that looks like an incredible uh, visualization of puppies. And, it, and this is something that you can use on your website, on your YouTube channel. Um, you can use it pretty much anywhere where you need a wide angle image. And actually what's really interesting is that you can use this zoom, these um, left and right arrows to increase the amount of detail that you get on either side. All right, let's look at this Paradise Island. This looks really awesome, right? And then because we say vector, this has a, a sort of illustration feel to it. And that looks really good. So let's add something a little bit... Um, to this and then we'll play around with a couple of, of settings. So imagine Paradise Island Vector Vacation, um, let's say a couple, a man and a woman on a Paradise Island with a briefcase, with a travel suitcase. Same thing, Vector ETC. We change the aspect ratio to be three, two, one. Let's leave the same. Um, cool. Let's see what that looks like. All right. So the puppies look cute. The puppies look adorable. Um, what else can we look at? Um, let's say sportswear. Imagine. Sportswear brand, website banner, we'll just copy this. Sportswear brand, male athletes. Let's say male and female athlete. Athlete posing. Website banner design, we'll leave those constant and see what that looks like. In the meantime, our couple is being rendered. So doesn't this look awesome? 
so you have a couple well some of them are three people um but it's it's a nice touristy sort of vibe and you have this whole paradise island thing going on and so if you scale one of them let's scale the first one let's see how that goes that looks good that looks like a nice vector illustration let us move let us remove the illustration and just let it be photoreal. So we'll remove the vector. We'll do vacation so we can say photo. Close up of a man and a woman on a paradise island, blah, 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 blah. In the meantime, our athletes have come to play. This actually looks really good. I like this. I like this. This also look good. I like, I love this. Now let's let's upscale this, the third image, and let's see if it can help us um, give more definition, give more information on the faces. In the meantime, we'll upscale one and three. So that will be that and that. So we've upscaled this. This is actually like really ready to use. And now a neat little trick is that if you want more space, for example, on this other side, you can just simply do that. Oh, sorry. You can just simply do that. You basically click on that arrow and it will try and create an extra or more information on this other side. So let's do that for that image and send that prompt through. And then for this one, which looks phenomenal, but we are not seeing the artist, the, sorry, the athlete's faces, let us try and go upwards and see what it does. All right, so now for this, we have a photograph, right? So now we have a couple on a beach and that just looks phenomenal. I like this, I like one and three. So we can upscale one and three. Um, upscale one and three. So as this is being generated, you see that it's basically doesn't show you what else was there before so it just shows you um what it's trying to generate but let's wait for the image to get done and now we have that so in some of them so it has extended this image all of these images to the left the images that we had selected and in some of them it has added another athlete on that side and in some it has not added anything so this is really good if you're trying to get like super wide banners and you want the AI to try and figure out what else is there. On this other hand, you have these athletes that did not have heads before and now it has created heads for them. And they look amazing. So let us upscale uh, two and three for this. Upscale two and three. And then for this one, we'll upscale one and three. So this looks good. I was worried for a second that it would sort of mess up the, you know, the proportions of the heads, um, but it's done a really good job. There is some bit of artifacting around the face, especially like the eyes. And this one's face is a bit malformed, but Generally, you can keep tweaking it until you find something that you like. Like, yeah, this one, this one is definitely getting worse. So you can just keep playing around with this, and now you see that you have a wide, a wide banner, and uh, that you can use in case it actually works for you. Now here, the banner is even wider. You'll notice that if we go back to this original, you'll notice that if you look at the difference in the aspect ratios, you'll notice that it's wide um but 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 taller right so that means that it's a much it's a much bigger aspect ratio whereas this one is a much thinner aspect ratio if you look at these two so if i open this in the browser you'll see how it stretches out to feel the browser and that's a really really wide image you see that so i can actually scroll back and forth Whereas with the original one, you will see that it's just this. And if you open this in a browser, yes, it's high resolution. 
Um, but as you can see, I cannot scroll back and forth. Um, sorry, left and right. Whereas this one, I can actually scroll left and right. So these arrows actually allow you to expand the image up, down, left, and right. All right, so this looks really good. It looks like something you can use like for a Twitter header, you add some text and you know, it should be awesome. Let us play around with some more options as a last example. Um, well, this is a tech channel, so let's do something with technology. One, imagine. Um, abstract technology website banner design, right? We'll also do it at 8, 8K, then do an aspect ratio, the usual aspect ratio, 3 to 1. And then for this, we, we are going to do something to add a little bit of chaos to it, but let's first see what this looks like. All right, I really, really love this. This looks like something that would fit very, very naturally on a tourism and travel website. Looks so cool. And then, of course, our puppies. Yeah. Looks awesome. Yeah, so this is not giving any sort of pattern or definition or anything. It's just like this abstract tech background. Um, so that looks interesting. Uh, let's try and seed this with a little bit of chaos. So to to make things a little interesting, you'd use the stylization tag, which is S. And so let's do let's start with S fifty, and then let's really push it to S on like eight hundred. And let's see what those look like. I like this. I mean, back in the day when I used to do website design, this would have been like a really, really interesting way of, you know, building all these abstract visualizations um, as opposed to, you know, having to buy stock images and stock footage. So that's really exciting um, that that possibility is there. So the stylization is being added to this too, and you will see that it, they're definitely getting increasingly more complex. All right. So this is the original, right? This is the same prompt with the stylization of the stylization value of 50. So you notice now you have a lot more abstraction. Um, and so you have a lot more like, like geometry happening um, within the image. And then you look here and you're like, oh my God, what is happening? So this has moved the stylization all the way up to um, 850. And so now you have some semblance of technology, but man, it is crazy. Um, so let's look at image number two, because I really like how that looks. All right. Even, even number, number three, number three, it looks like some sort of, um, utopian metropolis that's, you know, either embedded underground or something. It just, just looks fantastic. So let's try and um, expand this to the left and the right and see how it would look. So let's do left there, send a prompt. And in the meantime, let's also, I love the, the, the geometry of this as if the, the terrain geometry here looks awesome. Really, really love it. Let's actually upscale the first one. Now let's upscale one and three as well. Oh, this looks interesting. The way that it's trying to extend it to the left is going to be really cool. Um, so yeah, this looks awesome. Now, something about this text is I've seen from previous, um, like a long time ago when I was studying stuff really deeply, a lot of this is probably like remnants from some images that it had um, used as part of its learning model. Uh, so you might be surprised that there is an, an an artist whose name is very, very similar to this. I don't know who that is, um, but yeah, there is a distinct possibility. Oh, this looks good. This looks so good. Look at that. There's just something. Every time you do a stylization, it is incredible. I just love how creative it gets. So there's this, you know, cables that look like geometry, that look like you know, tetrahedrons and all these fractal representations. It is so cool. 
And then now this has expanded the wide angle. So you remember that the first one looked like this. And then I told it, let's see what's on the left of this. And then now it has visualized this. So let's expand one of them. I mean, they all look pretty much the same. So let's expand number one, upscale number one and see. Look at that. Let's open it in the browser. How cool is this? Like, I don't know what it's imagining, but this is incredible. Yeah, so that's our prompt for today, website banner design. So feel free to use it for whatever it, whatever you want. You can use watercolors, you can use oil paints, you can use whatever it is. You can use all sorts of abs abstractions. Um, yeah, so I hope that has been really helpful and see you guys tomorrow.